deal. So we now have the initial release of the YouTube jailbreak Y2JB by Gejine. So this is a pretty big deal here. It is a user land code execution using the PS5 YouTube application. And the implications of this is that we will eventually be able to use this to load the kernel exploits, the lapse kernel exploit to jailbreak up to firmwares like 9.60 and eventually 10.01 once it gets case stuff support, which will allow us to jailbreak digital edition consoles and consoles that don't have a working disk drive. So a pretty big deal here. Now this is the initial beta release, so it's not ready for prime time just yet, but we do have the repo created for it here on GitHub. So we can see here we've got Y2 jailbreak user land code execution using the PS5 YouTube application, but the status is that it's a beta right now and not ready for end users to use due to instability. So it's still quite unstable at the moment, and that is why there's not a backup file that has been added to this repo that you'd be able to use to restore it onto a retail console to actually use this as an entry point yet because it's not really ready yet. It's still more or less for testing purposes, which is why instead you just have the splash screen file that you can add if you have an existing jailbreak on the PS5 just so that you can get it set up and tested initially. So there are backup files already available. I'll leave one in the video description if you really do want to be able to just install the backup file. It is the easiest way to get this exploit set up and running. But obviously when you restore a backup file, it does reset the console. So I personally wouldn't recommend doing this until we actually get a stable release. But if you want to do that for your retail console, then all you have to do is simply get a USB drive that's formatted in XFAT format, extract the PS5 folder from the backup file into the root of that USB drive, plug that USB drive into your PS5, head over to the settings menu and go to the system settings and then the backup and restore options and select the option to restore a backup and then select the USB drive and the backup that's on there and tell it to restore. But make sure you have a backup of your own console before you do that because it will erase your save files and all of your other stuff that's on the console already. And once the backup file has been restored, you should have the YouTube application available. And when you run it, it should run the user land exploit. So that is the basic setup for the end user method. But this initial release is mainly designed for people who already have a jailbroken PS5 to be able to set this up and test it without having to restore a backup. And I'll show you guys how you can do that if you have a previous jailbreak. So the requirements here are the YouTube application. It specifically needs to be version 1.03 of the YouTube application. And you also need FTP access so you can access the download path to install the cache file as well. So that is what is required here. So if we go ahead and go to the code and download this as a zip file. As for the package file itself for the YouTube application, I'll leave a link to one in the video description that you should be able to just install, although it is the US configured version of the YouTube application. If you want to get the version that specifically targets your region of console, like if you're not able to use the one that I put in the description because you're in a different region, I believe it should work anyway, but just in case, you can instead download uh, the YouTube application and then the SC file for your region. So to do that, there's this page that's been set up here where you can go to the download base package and select this version to download the YouTube application. You download that and then you select what region you're in, Europe, USA or Japan. So I would select Europe here. And then we just go ahead and proceed and it downloads that and you download the YouTube application and then you can merge them into one file by using this package joiner option. From there, you can take the two applications you downloaded, the SC package and the YouTube application, select an output folder, and then it will go ahead and merge those packages to give you a version of the YouTube application that actually matches your region. So if you're having any trouble getting the YouTube application working, you can quickly do that to get that configured. Then all we need to do is grab a USB drive that's formatted in XFAT or FAT32 format and go into that USB drive and then copy the package file for the YouTube application into the root of that USB drive and then unplug that USB and plug it in to your PS5. So once you're on the PS5, you need to load your existing jailbreak. So in this case, I'm on a 4.03 system so I can use the web browser to jailbreak. So I'm just going to use that. And that is just to enable the debug settings. I'm not going to run K stuff or ETA hen here. We're just going to get the jailbreak loaded, which will enable the debug settings and then also run the FTP server, which will start running on port 2121. 
Then we're going to go into our settings. We're going to scroll down to our debug settings, game, click OK to that message and package installer and install the package file for the YouTube app. And that will get that version installed onto our PS5. So once that's done, we should see the YouTube application is now here. If I press the options button and go to information, we can see the version number is showing as 1.003, which is what we want. So that is the correct version. So from here, if I go into the settings, system, system software, console information, you want to note down your IPv4 address, make sure you are connected to your local network. We also don't want the YouTube application forcing itself to update to a newer version. So we need to make sure we have a DNS blocker applied. You can find that in the network settings under settings and set up an internet connection under your registered network. If you press the options button and go to advanced settings, scroll down to the DNS settings and make sure you have a manual DNS set, not automatic, and that the primary DNS is set to 62.210.38.117. And that is your Nomadix DNS blocker to prevent updates for your applications as well as system updates. So just make sure you have that applied so that the YouTube application when you launch it cannot try to update. So from here, what I'm going to do is switch back over once again to my computer. And on the computer, we're going to open up FileZilla or WinSCP. You want an FTP client that you can use here. So from here in the host box, we're going to enter the IP address of our PS5 that we noted down. Port number is 2121 in this case, unless you're using ETA hen to use FTP, in which case it's 1337. And then we can quick connect. We need to actually be running the YouTube application here. So if I go ahead and run the YouTube app on the PS5, wait for that to load up. Okay, and at this point, if I go back to the computer, from here, we're then going to navigate into the mount directory, MNT and then the sandbox folder. Then at the bottom, we have this PPSA 01650 folder, and that is our YouTube application. If we go in there, we have this download zero folder. And if we right click on this, we need to give this the appropriate permissions because at, by default, it doesn't have the correct permission set so that we can replace files in this folder. So we're gonna right click and go to file permissions. Now it says everything is set there, read, write and execute 777, but we want to recurse into subdirectories and apply to all files and directories and click OK. And that will go ahead and do that. So now we can enter that folder, go to the cache folder and the splash screen folder, and then this long string here. And this is the file that we're replacing, splash.html. So all we need to do is replace that file with the one from the exploit. So if we open up the exploit folder, Y2 jailbreak main, go into the download zero folder, cache, splash screen, and this folder here. And this is our replacement file that we're going to copy in here. And we want to, of course, overwrite the existing file. And that is it, successful. So that's us now installed the exploit manually. So back on the PS5, we can just close out of the YouTube application now. And then make sure you disconnect from the internet, which is an important step because that cache file can get overwritten if we remain connected to the internet. So we're going to go onto our network settings and then go to the settings section here and uncheck the box to connect to the internet. And that is us all good there. So I'm going to run the YouTube application and see what happens here on our PS5. So we get the you are signed out of PlayStation. And there it is, Remote JS Loader listening on 51937. So it looks like that actually worked. We can see that it has actually loaded. You can actually see the exploit text behind uh, the YouTube sign in page here. So we can click OK to that message. And you can see if we zoom in, we do in fact have the exploits running there, starting the exploit there, bytecode hijacking, then setting up the ROP. And then further down, we have Remote JS Loader is listening on port 51937 and it is waiting for a connection. Now I've not really seen any payloads come out yet uh, that are designed to load using this. So for the moment, there doesn't appear to be any payloads I can send right now. There probably will be some test payloads like some notification, hello world type stuff fairly soon. But that's how you get this set up and running. So yeah, just want to make a quick video there going over this new release from Gejine, the king of user land exploits. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, as always, I'll hopefully see you guys